Hello. Happy Assembly Day. I hope you're all okay. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about some people who've just, just done some really cool things in uh, in Assembly today. And we're going to talk about people who have been inspirational. And these are just kind of run-of-the-mill average people. They're not that famous. They're not um, really rich or really uh, sporty or amazing actors or anything like that. They're just random normal people who've seen a problem and thought, right, I need to do something about that. I was watching a film in the uh, in the Christmas holidays called National Treasure. It's not great. It's, it's kind of good fun. But there was a really good line in it that said, if you have the ability to do uh, something, you have the responsibility to uh, to do it. So that means that if you have the, uh, the ability to take action, to solve a problem, to do something to help other people, you actually have the responsibility to do it. And you should do it because otherwise you're wasting your ability and we can all help. So we're aiming to be local, uh, responsible local, national and global citizens. So if we know there's a problem, we have a responsibility to do something about that. And that's everything that we uh, believe in at Wincham. So let's have a look. Now, what do you see in this picture? Okay. As we go through this, I'm going to think, uh, ask you to think about what global goals we're thinking about as well. So I'll tell your partner what you see in that picture. Okay, what do you notice? Right. A dad has started a campaign called Squats for Change to have public spaces available for men to change their baby's nappy. Now, often nappy changing facilities are in female toilets or disabled toilets, leaving men to make do in the male toilets, squatting on the floor like this. And this dad, Dante Palmer, published a photo of himself squatting to change his son's nappy. And the photo went viral with other dads joining in the campaign. And the campaign is starting to work. Now, this is a uh, slightly old photo, but Pampers agreed to install 5,000 baby changing tables in men's toilets across America and Canada by 2021. So that's actually made a difference. So he saw that there was a problem. He had the ability to take action. He had the ability to use a photo online to share that problem with other people. And he made a difference. So he had that responsibility, he showed his responsibility to take action. So what global goals are we talking about there? What do you think? Uh, talk to your partner. I thought about good health and well-being, making sure there's a hygienic place to change baby's nappy, gender equality definitely, and reduced inequalities to making sure that men and women have the same opportunities. So Katie Stagliano. She lives in America, and when she was nine, she brought home a cabbage seedling as part of a school's Bonnie uh, Plants third grade cabbage program. Katie nurtured a seedling till it grew into an enormous vegetable weighing 40 pounds. Katie donated the cabbage to a soup kitchen where it helped feed over 275 people. And from this one cabbage was born the idea for Katie's Crops, a project to create vegetable gardens where fresh and healthy produce could be donated to children, uh, to people in need. And today, Katie's Crops offers grants to children aged between 9 and 16, which enable them to buy the items they need to grow their own produce. Growing areas range from a pot that's large enough to grow a single vegetable to a design designated allotment. And the idea is simple, fun and successful. And in 2015, there were 83 Katie's Crops gardens across America. And not only do gardens um, provide healthy supplies to the hungry. They empower the growers, providing them with valuable life skills, instilling them in them a sense of pride and responsibility. So uh, pride for what they do, responsibility uh, to take care of other people, really, really important things. And there we go. We've got another inspirational person who started off growing one cabbage. And after that, this has grown and grown and grown and changed. So there's 83 gardens across America because of her. This is 15 year old James Curtis and a huge impact. In 2015, he won the Children's Achievement Award at the Children and Young People Now Awards. And he's an ambassador for a charity called Auditory Verbal UK, which teaches deaf babies and children to listen and speak so they can achieve their full potential in life. James works with parents, trains councils and NHS professionals on behalf of deaf children. He's also raised more than £500,000 to go towards the training of more auditory verbal therapists by delivering a speech 
to hundreds of business professionals and a huge achievement for any teenager, but even greater because James was born profoundly deaf. He's had years of auditory verbal therapy. He's not only an inspirational advocate for deaf children and young people, but a role model for other teenagers. Isn't that amazing? So what global goal is, uh, are we looking at? What global goal? Have a talk to your partner, see what you think. I think um, good health and well-being, quality education, definitely reduced inequalities, and partnerships, because he's talking about everybody working together to help people. Right, and a final one, uh, Ryan, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his surname because I might get it wrong and I don't want to do that. Ryan lives in Canada, and when he was six, he learned about the devastating consequences that people faced in countries where there was poor sanitation, no access to fresh, clean water. And he was very young, but he felt so strongly about it, he wanted to help tackle the problem. He got the ability to do it, so he had the responsibility to do it. And at first, Ryan set about doing extra chores to earn more money. Later, he started participating in public speaking events with the aim of raising the £2,000 needed for his first well in northern Uganda. And three years later, the Ryan's Well Foundation was born. And today, over 992 communities have clean water due to this project. 1,153 latrines have been completed in 16 countries. And the foundation has saved lives, reducing the risk of disease and given more than a million vulnerable people the prospect of a brighter future. So what can you do that inspires someone? I think that's incredible. We've got three people who've done ordinary things or they've seen ordinary issues and they've really addressed that problem. They've really done something quite incredible about it. And they've worked as it. They've shown that resilience and they are inspirational. I think each one of those people is absolutely amazing. So what can you do that inspires someone? Even if it's a smile, a bit of encouragement, saying I believe in you, or it might be something huge that changes the lives of uh, hundreds or thousands of people. There you go, something to think about. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have an inspirational day. And I hope you look at a problem and think, what can I do about that? Not, mm, this is awful. Show that resilience. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye-bye.